Well, let's get this game underway. We're kicking off here with SK from Triggers Down. SK and Native were actually teammates last year. They finished out this season on agency, finishing top five. So they've gone in opposite directions for the new season and the new game. Well, SK's got the rockets here. Dodging grenades, you see him pushing forward. That third grenade is going to take down his shield, though. So now he's going to be forced to back off. A little desperation rocket there. Force the enemies to back off for a second while you escape. Let your shields recover. Now he's charging back out aggressively with his teammates on both sides of him. He takes down Toxic and a double kill on Wooly, but he's taken down as well. So let's hop over to his teammate, Hysteria, from Triggers Down. Now, a lot of folks may not have heard of it, Hysteria, but while she tells me that he thinks his skill level is top five right now as, as far as Halo 3 goes, the question is, is he mature enough and experienced enough to be able to deal with the pressures of playing in a tournament environment? Well, Hysteria already playing pretty smart. He picked up that headshot on Toxic, now pushing out on Wooly, hit him with a grenade, dropping his shields, and it looks like he's going to charge after it, so he picks up the kill. It's a 10-2 to game, triggers down, and complete control here. We have Hysteria charging in on two players. There's Toxic. Two shots and a beatdown picks up their 12 kill. And now he pushes out with no shield, puts shots on Nated, turning, he fires more shots on Severance, and he charges right back up here. There's Toxic, but he's double teamed, so a bit too aggressive there. You know, but when you're up by eight early in the game, that's what you do. You try to keep the other team guessing, keep them off balance. I like Triggers Down, aggressive play so far. It's working out with that eight kill lead. Well, they're pushing in very aggressively on Fatal Images base, forcing them into a spawn trap. You see Hysteria now playing pretty sneaky as he picks up the beatdown on Wooly. Nice use of the headphones, listening to those footsteps. Hysteria not backing down, though. He's got Nated and Tizoxic. Hits both players with two shots. Fear itself cleans up two of the kills. Now he's pushing out on Nated for the third. And there it is. So Trigger's down, cleaning up three kills. Now setting up for the spawn trap. He's putting shots on Toxic. Fear itself was taken down, and he is forced back, unable to pick up the kill. With half shields, he's forced to drop down, puts a few shots on Severance. Here comes Toxic with Wooly, and he is going to be taken down by Toxic. But here comes Loken from Triggers Down, moving in with the overshield, cleans up Hysteria's kills, 20-8 to eight lead. Great job by Triggers Down right there, finishing kills, teamwork. That's what you like to see. This is squad's new. They haven't been playing together that long, but they seem like they're in a good rhythm. Well, Wooly here from Fatal Images is trying to get a little bit of breathing room for his team. They're all trapped at the base. They need to pick up two, three kills and make a push here, Sundance. Well, he's got that mauler in his back pocket, so he's going to be deadly up close. And there he is. He used it on Loken. Hysteria got him with that same position. Loken tried to use it. A little bit unsuccessful there. And we're now switching over to Toxic as he out PRs SK. Getting shot at from Hysteria with that sniper in the sword room. Picks up another kill on Fear Itself, and now they're going to have rockets here. Right, this is big. Fatal Images needs to make something out of this. They want to nade it on the other side here, waiting. I like the smart play, not shooting. This is a great push. Toxic was baiting, naded pushes in, picks up the assassination, but now he's getting hit from the sniper. It's Hysteria who's got him locked down in the corner. He spots Tizoxic, takes him down, so rockets are down right now. Hysteria triggers down with the only power weapon, and Hysteria picked up the 25th kill. So this game is halfway over. Fatal Images got to do something soon here if they want to stay in this game because Trigger's down so far is just having their way with them. Map control, weapon control, controlling that OS. But we had a sniper battle between Hysteria and Severance. Hysteria hit him once. SK was able to finish the kill, so there's no power weapons in the hands of Fatal Images. But they are not stopping the charger. You see Tizoxic pushing in through Needler's side, and he was just triple teamed. That's an example of what you don't want to do when you have rockets, Bucket. You definitely don't want to rush in and just waste those rockets on missed shots like that. Hysteria was moving in for the new overshield, but he was taken down by Nated, who is waiting for it. So Nated, with the first power up of the game for Fatal Images, is going to have a chance here to push really aggressively on the Triggers Down team. Absolutely. If Nated's got to play like the Nated we've come to expect, super aggressive right here because he's got that OS, he's got to use it to push in and try and get Triggers Down off their game. And look at the team shot there. You see Severn sniping from Swordroom, dropping shields, Nated and Wooly working together, cleaning up kills with the BR. This is a great push from Fatal Images. I like what I'm seeing, and it's all being led by the veteran in Nated. Nated working with Wooly here. Drops down with no shield, and he's pushing back out. Picks up the kill on Hysteria from behind. 
lets his shields recharge, and now he's looking for SK as Severance picks up the kill with the sniper rifle. It's a five kill game. Fatal Images pushing on Triggers Down's base, and they have him trapped now, Sundance. The tables have turned. That was a great play by Nate. Getting that overshield really turned the tides right there. Well, he beats down SK for the 27th kill, but finally Hysteria ends his killing spree. That's a kill, Joey. Looking for the shot on Toxic, couldn't hit it. Calls it out to Fear Itself, hits him once. Fear Itself cleans it up. That's just great teamwork from this brand new team. Shown great communication skills already. As you know, that's key, especially in a TS game, because the tie can turn really quickly. Well, right now we have a pretty good setup for Triggers Down. We have Hysteria sniping from the box, and Severance was trying to do the same thing. Hysteria catches him with a headshot from across the map. Now pushing in behind Fear Itself. You see his tag symbol there, L28 in front of him. Three players from Triggers Down all pressing aggressively. Hysteria taking a few shots from Nated, forced to back down, but he's just becoming a distraction now as SK was trying to move in for a second kill. I like this. We've seen Hysteria here before. Earlier in the match, when he's there, it gives his teammates an opportunity to spread out. He can put shots on folks with that sniper rifle. Meanwhile, it looks like the battle is for rockets. We have Wooly pushing out as Toxic was picking up the rockets. Wooly picks up the kill on Loken. He Toxic trying to get back. He's taken down. Wooly grabs the rockets from him. Hits SK with one, but unable to finish it with the second one as it was deflected by a grenade. But he's still got two rockets left here. Pushing out with the rockets, takes down Woken, getting shots put on him from the training, misses a rocket, but his partners are there to distract as he escapes. Nice work there by Severance from Fatal Images to clean up the kill. It's 41-33, Wooly trying to gather his team, rally back in this match. Well, we saw the battle for the overshield, Wooly moving in, picking up the kill on Woken, put three shots on SK, but smart move to back down here. Toxic cleans up that kill on SK. It's just a five kill game. And down goes Hysteria. Perfect shots from Wooly. He is just playing phenomenal right here, Sundance. He's playing with his head, not being too aggressive, dropping back when his shields are down. And he's just forcing triggers down to put themselves into bad positions. Yep, and we've seen him do it in the one central part of the map. He's basically just cycling around, staying in that spot, and letting triggers down come to him. Well, we've seen Triggers Down try to control the perimeter. Meanwhile, Fatal Images looks like they'd rather stick together in clumps in the middle of the map. I haven't seen the strategy work out too well against top teams, but maybe it will here in the final minutes of this game. It's 43 to 39. Triggers Down still in control with a four kill lead. Here's the battle. Hysteria versus Wooly one on one. Wooly had the advantage there hitting him four times. He just needed one more shot to the body but he made a smart decision to back down, not giving up any free kills, and he was able to circle around, picking up that kill on Fear itself, as they're now just down by two, Sonny. Yep, I'm really impressed with the play by Wooly right there. Made a smart play, maybe a little conservative, but it worked out for him. Well, Wooly was pushing out too aggressively there that second time, and he was taken down from behind, but we're hopping over now to Severance, who's got the sniper, the only power weapon for Fatal Images at this point. Severance unable to hit the shots on Loken, looking out across Swordbridge, hits SK once in the body, so the shields are dropped, but there's no one there to clean up the kill. He charges Swordroom, here's Hysteria, and he catches them with two no-scopes as they take the lead for the first time this game, 45-44, to Fatal Images back in the match. Great comeback right here, they didn't let themselves get down. They've stuck to their game plan, and it's obviously paying off because they've got the lead here late in the game. Let's see well, if they can hold on to it. Severance unable to finish off Hysteria. Hysteria dodging a few snipers. Now working here with Loken as they take down Nated. You see SK on the other side of the map pushing in on the new overshield. Meanwhile, Fear itself is taken down. Hysteria finds the target, takes it down. Here's the double, 49 to 47. Just one more kill for Triggers down. Three more for Fatal Images, and he is taking down 49, 48. This could go either way. We're on board with Nated, the veteran from Fatal Images. He will be the player to bring his team back in this match. The grenades come from Hysteria, and Hysteria picks up the final headshot, 50 to 48. It was a close one. I thought Fatal Images was gonna be able to come back. But in the end, Triggers Down maintained their calm, their cool, stayed collected, and won it 50-48. to 48. Now let's take a look at the stats. 
Hysteria led all players with 16 kills, only 10 deaths. That's a positive 6 ratio. Great game out of him. Hysteria definitely showing us that talent. Now on the other side, Nated going 11 and 14. Little surprised by that. He's got to lead by example, and going negative 3 just isn't getting it done.